Well, I promised I would make this video after I almost lost $80,000 on buying a rotten motorhome because of this one thing, and I know that this is something that nobody tells anybody about on RVs because it's all this fluffy BS that these RV guys like to do. This is what killed a Holiday Rambler Vesta. These walls on the outside is some of these Class C's, Class A RVs have these outdoor kitchens or they have these TVs, which are fantastic and great if you don't mess up. So you're at a campsite, you don't have your awning up and you have this TV open, okay? and it rains and water comes in here, there's zero, zero protecting the outside elements from the inside elements, and I'll show you why. All of these TVs, let me try to get my camera to kind of show the angle I'm trying to emphasize here. All these TVs use this plasticky material, but look, it's not bolt, it's not sealed to the outside wall here. There's no seal. So water comes in, and it just sweeps down here. If you have a seal or if this is left open or something happens at the top of the seal and this is letting water in here, all it's gonna do is just allow water to just seep, 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 seep. And I got a video on my channel of an RV that only had 6,000 miles on it that was meticulously kept that got killed because someone had some problem inside of this TV bay. So the number one fix for this is to silicone it. So what I'm gonna do Sorry about the bad camera work here, but this is this should help save a lot of RVs. I'm gonna use 100% silicone, and I'm gonna run a bead on the inside of this unit where water can potentially sit. So I'm not gonna go all crazy and go all the way up the top of the sidewall. I might, I probably will just for just because it's mine. But run a nice bead, and then run your finger across and bond that silicone and that piece of plastic right here together. So there's no way any water can penetrate and if you, i believe if you look at the video on my channel on the holiday rambler there this material this abs plastic is actually better because they were using a metal piece where it was two pieces and the water seeped also through a crack in here and you could see it all running down the wall it kills these walls this is just thin luan wood behind here this wallpaper so i'm gonna run a bead of silicone on mine and i'm gonna show you what it looks like after okay this is one of those times where i really do wish i had a cameraman but here we go i sealed all the way up to the top all the way down and what we're looking at is the inside edge of this tv shroud i'm going to call it or tv cup so you're looking down here at the silicone so it's now this tv shroud and then from the outside you don't see anything look so you walk up to your tv it's like you didn't even do a mod in here but what you did if you did this you just did the best mod you're ever going to do to any of your rv any any of it because this, in my opinion, is the worst design when it comes to these things because it, it's just an opening from the outside elements. Say, come on in, come on in water. And we hope that there's some user error because that's all there has to be is just a little tiny bit of user error. Or the other problem on these things, if you stuck with me this long, thumbs up, please, and subscribe. This seal is critical, critical. Even a little pinhole right here it's different than on a window because on a window you're gonna have you're gonna see when you go in your rv you're gonna see a little line in your rv and go what the heck's going on here let me address that oh the window's leaking oh let me see what's going on here when this is behind a couch what are you gonna see there's nothing for you to ever notice so you got a little leak here and you got water coming in here pooling up and you open this one day and you go oh my god there's water in there Oh, well, good thing I put silicone in here because I know that the water didn't go any farther than this silicone bead. So if this saved you guys RV, if this was a good idea, if this is a good tip, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subs and I'll get you in the next video. Useful tips, guys. Useful tips. No fluff.